former celebrities, sometimes actions speak louder than their words. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best celebrity lip sync performances. For this list, we're focusing on the most entertaining celebrity renditions during modern lip sync battles. Number 10, Stephen Merchant, Dirty. Facing off against actress Malin Ackerman, this British gent wore his nation's pride on his chest and got nasty for a lip sync of Christina Aguilera's Dirty. At first, you may notice Merchant's focused gaze as he emerges in a massive cage, but after that, it's all about his arms swaying and his booty shaking. Of course, the choice of clothing enhances the bold performance, but it becomes evident that Steven truly understands the vibe of the lyrics and hasn't come to mess around. Amazingly, he manages to capture the same type of intensity with his complimentary rendition of Beyonce's Single Ladies. Number 9, Josh Gad, I Touch Myself. For his huge performance of a Divinals classic, this Frozen star channeled his inner Donald Trump. Yeah, that's so funny, I don't have a skull. Beginning with a poignant mirror scene, Josh Gad is able to strike a successful balance, conveying both sexuality and a connection to the lyrics. I wanna think about you. By seducing his own persona in the form of a second Donald Trump, Gad taps into a timely selfie concept that many can relate to. By the end, however, the performance escalates quickly, as Gad enlists a whole group of Trumps and crawls around the stage, before closing off with some naughty gestures. For the cherry on top, well, Gad even smooches Johnny Galecki, the ex-boyfriend of opponent Kaylee Cuoco. Number 8, Jenna Duan Tatum, Pony. In a lip sync battle against her own husband, this professional dancer reimagines Channing Tatum's hypersexualized performance of Genuine's Pony from Magic Mike XXL, complete with some masculine power tools. And it's clear that Jenna Duan Tatum has the attention of host LL Cool J. Sure, maybe she doesn't emphasize the actual lip syncing, but her physical movements tap into the energy of the song. by the middle, well, it turns into a full-blown striptease for Mr. Tatum, with Jenna displaying her exquisite abs and finishing with a touch of athleticism. It's a money performance, one fueled by genuine hustle and flow. Number 7, Will Ferrell, Drunk in Love. My first song is by the Queen Bee. On The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, one of the best modern comedians took the stage for a little Beyonce. And though Will Ferrell's clothing game isn't on point, his stage presence is everything and then some. We woke up in the kitchen saying how the hell did this happen over? He's got a bit of sass going on and it's clear that he's enjoying the moment as well. More importantly though, Will sells the dance routine to the audience by insinuating that he's done it a few times before. Be 
it may not be as elaborate as some of the Spike TV performances that would come later, but it established Farrell as an influential figure of the 21st century celebrity lip sync battle. The cold will never bother me anyway. Number 6. Paul Rudd, Don't Stop Me Now. Killer Queen? That's not the song, sorry. But it is the band. Freddie Mercury. When taking on an iconic band like Queen, a celebrity must be able to match the stage bravado of Freddie Mercury. And with Don't Stop Me Now, Paul Rudd goes all in with the theatrics, yet he still manages to maintain a focused and lively performance. Don't stop me now. There are plenty of leg kicks and jazz hands, but if you look at Rudd's face, you'll see a man ready for his big celebrity lip sync moment. Rudd fully embodies Mercury's persona and never seems out of place on stage. Each movement builds upon the one that came before, with Rudd bringing a Broadway vibe to the 30 Rock stage. Uh, Number 5. Channing Tatum, Run the World, Girls. Not to be outdone by his wife Jenna, this movie star begins atop a majestic horse and simply allows the moment to consume him. For his lip sync of Beyonce's Run the World, Channing Tatum owns the physical space of the stage, locking into his crisp choreography without losing track of the lyrics. Overall, it's an ethereal performance, especially with the wind machine. Even so, it's hard to ignore the precision of Tatum's technique. And when a global superstar like Beyonce shows up for assistance, well, that certainly counts for a few extra points. <laughs> Number four, Emma Stone, All I Do Is Win. My second and final song is All I Do Is Win <laughs> by DJ Khaled. For her climactic lip sync against Jimmy Fallon, this Oscar nominated actress slowly eases into DJ Khaled's All I Do Is Win. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. But Emma Stone has a trick up her sleeve. For the first portion, she maximizes the intensity, even utilizing some high low camera work to enhance the performance. And they stay there. Then comes the ludicrous verse, which clearly surprises and stuns her opponent. For such a lyrically intense verse, Emma could have easily produced nothing more than an average lip sync. But no, she crushes it and closes off with some phenomenal facial expressions. In fact, Stone even seems to have surprised herself given her reaction to it all. And every time I step up in the building, everybody Oh my goodness! Oh my God! Come on! That was the best. That was the best one that's ever been done on the show. Number three, Terry Crews, A Thousand Miles. I'm gonna let them see. As one of the stars of Brooklyn Nine Nine, this large man is well versed in comedic timing. You made Terry get real with himself and his genitals. Your tiny head has a big heart inside it. But for a battle against Mike Tyson, Terry Crews keeps it simple with a classy piano performance of Vanessa Carlton's A Thousand Miles. Take him away downtown, walk him fast, face his path and hold down. Well, at least that's how he begins. In the early part, Cruz thrives with some over-exaggerated facial expressions, but everything changes when he stands up for a more revealing lip sync. If I could fall into the sky. Twirling around topless, Terry reaches a new theatrical dimension, especially when he breaks out the props. All in 
all, though, he zeroes in on the emotive quality of the track, and he even gives the crowd some chest pumps for a little something extra. <laughs> Number two, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Tiny Dancer. This one's uh, gonna start with a classic. This is called uh, Tony Dan Tiny Dancer. After a couple of impressive lip sync performances by well-known comedians, Joseph Gordon-Levitt needs to get the crowd on his side. Oh, I feel so real, lying here, with no one near, only you. And while the opening antics of Elton John's Tiny Dancer initially seem a bit boring, Joseph is only building up the audience for the big chorus. And so, he does two things to outshine his competitors. One, he gets all up in the camera for some impassioned lip syncing, and then he pulls back for some aggressive mic stand shaking. It's not a dazzling performance from beginning to end, but it's the finale that counts the most. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number one, Anne Hathaway, Wrecking Ball. Despite the brilliance of Emily Blunt's Janis Joplin, her opponent manages to deliver something even more trippy and timely. We kissed, I fell under your spell, love. No one could deny. Refusing to overshadow her performance with distracting visuals, Anne Hathaway begins in classic black and white before slaying Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball, stripping down to only white at the front of the stage and reaching into her lip sync soul. To enhance the emotional aspect, Anne swings across the stage with an actual wrecking ball, with her middle finger representing the final blow in a classic lip sync battle. Do you agree with our list? Which celebrity do you think gave the best lip sync performance? For more musical top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh, you ever did it.